Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm reviewing a pen from Spoke Design. This is the Icon pen. Uh, it's got a very interesting uh, couple of features about it, which I'm going to talk about. Um, this is a US-based company. Um, Brad Dowdy's in heavily involved in this, uh, if you're familiar with things like the Pen Addict. Um, so they make ballpoint pens and stuff like that, and they have this a couple of fountain pens, and this is what we want, we're going to look at today. It comes packaged in a very simple uh, metal case, like you might get Chinese pen in and you open it up and uh thanks from brad and brian and it says icon there and here is the pen now what makes this pen particularly interesting uh is it's got a design feature that is common with spoke design which is this sort of open barrel uh but this pen is quite uh modular as they term they use uh modular or uh not i wouldn't say customizable but there are options that you have to choose from now as you can see, this is the gun metal finish, and inside there I have the purple sleeve liner, and then I have a black uh, concave section. So, what you can do is you can choose the color of that liner, you can choose the color of the section, the shape of the section, and the color of the barrel. Uh, and you can also get replacement uh, sleeves and sections and stuff, there's also a brass section. Uh, and uh, there's a couple of different options for the section. One is a sort of um, um, kind of like more cylindrical and grooved, and the other one uh, is knurled. Uh, so there are a couple of options there for you. Uh, and when you buy the replacements, you can also buy a tool that, that helps you take this sleeve out. Uh, and it's a great way of personalizing a pen uh, while having something that is affordable and also interesting. So, uh, let's talk about the parts and features of the pen, do a writing sample, and I'll talk about some pros and cons. So on the top of the pen, we get a little uh, metal medallion there with the Spoke Design logo on it. The cap uh, soars out slightly and then cylindrical. Uh, you get where it opens up there, and it's a screw cap, cap obviously. Um, and it's about three full turns. Uh, it locks down on an O-ring at the end of the screws, which is nice and makes the pen quite secure. Then uh, the barrel t goes along, tapers slightly, and then we get sort of a flat end. Of course, as I said, it's got these sort of like facets that are cut out in the middle there, which means that uh, you can have that coloured sleeve and bring a little bit of personality to the pen. It is a standard cartridge, uh, st standard international cartridge converter pen, and it comes with um, a converter, as well as coming with two uh, Monteverde blue-black ink cartridges with a sticker. Very nice. So everything you need to sort of get going and do your stuff is here in the pack. It comes with a standard number six size Yovo nib. It's been laser engraved there with the Spoke Design logo. I got it in a medium, simple plastic feed, and that's really it. It's just a very, as I said, there's a few different sections, all of that kind of thing. It's just a fairly standard, like the workings of the pen, a fairly standard pen. What makes this pen interesting is that sort of modular nature that you can choose the colors and you can get replacement ones. So you can always make this uh, reflect sort of like either the ink you're using or your personal tastes at the time. I should say uh, the nib options available are uh, extra fine, fine, medium and broad, but because it is a standard number six Yovo nib, um, there's no reason why you couldn't put a uh, another, uh, you know, a stub nib or something on well, the Goulet nibs or the Edison nibs or um, anything like that, sort of a standard number six Yovo will fit in here without any issue. Size comparison here with the uh, Lamy Safari that we are all familiar with. You can see it's a smaller pen. It is smaller, it's shorter. It's got a decent girth on it on the barrel, uh, but it is a shorter pen. Now, the spoke design icon does not post. And you can see, unposted, it is still shorter than a Lamy Safari, but what you do have the advantage of is with the number six size nib, uh, you have a little bit of extra length from the page uh, when you are holding it than you would with, say, the Lamy Safari. Dimensions of the Spoke Design icon, uh, it's 124, 125 millimetres when it is capped. So compact, not a pocket pen, but compact, uh, as opposed to something like the Lamy Safari, which is around the 140 millimetres. Um, uncapped, it's 121, which for some people would be verging on just a little bit small. Uh, but the issue I have in terms of the size of this pen is this convex section. Now, yes, I chose this particular section. It is a shape that I sort of prefer. I didn't want something knurled and all of that kind of stuff. 
So this is the option you get if those are what you are after. Um, and uh, the section ranges from about 10.5 to just under 9.5 millimeters. So it just feels a little bit on the thin side. Um, but I think because the rest of the pen has a decent girth and uh, you've got a nice length, it doesn't feel necessarily small in the hand. Uh, just, just, it's just slim. The weight of the spoke design icon is 24 grams when it is capped. Uh, but when it is uncapped for writing, it's about 18 grams. So not super heavy. That sort of light aluminium uh, material means that you get like a nice, you know, pen. And because the, there's a bit more weight down here in the section and in the nib unit, it does feel like the pen is sort of more, more of the weight is in your fingers. Time for a writing sample now. We've got the spoke design. Icon. This has a steel. Number six, Yovo nib, and I said this is a medium. The ink I'm using today is a Diamine ink, one of my recent favorite purples. It is Monbotto's hat. Okay, let's do some writing. As you can see, it writes well. It's smooth, it's fairly wet. Um, also a property of the ink and the paper, of course, as well, but it does have good flow, it is quite generous. Um, it's not buttery smooth, but there's definitely no sort of scratchiness or feedback. It's just nice and nice and smooth and what you would expect from a Yovo nib, really. And in terms of things like the flow and the ink starvation, you've got a Schmidt K5 converter flowing through a Yovo nib unit and housing like it's gonna it really or like the internals of that are a standard you've got you know a standard converter you've got a standard nib unit that's where the that's the guts of the machinery if you will so like you would expect that with this combination of products in terms of flexibility it is not flexible it is a standard yovo nib don't even try like reverse writing it's okay like, it's okay. It, you can get a couple of words out, no problem. But uh, I think this is a good nib. It is a very good nib. It's a really enjoyable nib to write with. Lays down a nice amount of ink. It's got a good sort of width line. You know, Yovo number six medium nib. What else would you expect? So let's talk price. Base unit, 119 US dollars. That's what you pay for a sleeve, a section, the body, the nib, all that stuff. You can buy... Uh, the section starting at $12 each if you wanted to get a, you know, a different section, different color, different shape, that kind of thing. Uh, and the, uh, the internal sleeve there, uh, retail, the inserts retail for eight US dollars. Uh, but to change them, it's really handy to have the tool, which also costs $7.50. Um, I'm not sure how visible to be able to be, but there's like, you can see that little groove just in there. Um, well, that groove is where the tool goes in and you turn it and take out the sleeve, put the new one in, you tighten it down with the tool and it's all done. Uh, so I think the inserts, the tool and the section, all that kind of stuff are really, really well priced. Um, I think when you, uh, I think probably realistically, the, what you are paying for is the fact that this pen is modular because with a steel Yovo nib, simple K5 converter, um, you know, like machined aluminium, anodized aluminium pen, 119 for me is like on the verge of what you would expect, the top end verge, I mean, of what you would expect for a pen like this. So just keep that in mind, uh, that when you are buying a pen, buying this pen, like the inserts and stuff to change it out, really affordable. Because I think that is what you are paying for. So you have multiple pens, really, multiple sections, color sleeves, all that kind of stuff, for what is what ends up being quite a reasonable price. Let's now talk pros and cons for the uh, spoke design uh, icon fountain pen here. Cons, uh, it doesn't post, which means it is on this smaller side. Um, you couldn't get this pen to post, you'd have to do ma massive design changes. It's just what you're going to have to go with. 
for me, a con with this is I don't love this particular grip. I just find it to be just a little bit narrow. Um, but as I said, with the rest of the pen in the hand, it feels okay. Um, I would just love like an extra millimeter or so, um, even if it meant not quite so strong a, uh, you know, a, 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 a taper or hourglass there. Um, the other issue I have, and once again, this is a little bit personal, it's probably a bit nitpicky, is the fact that because all this is open, if you're carrying this pen in your pocket or in a pencil case or whatever, it does kind of pick up a bit of lint and dust and stuff in there. Uh, so if stuff gets in there, you've got to, like, if it's a solid barrel pen, like I've just got the steel form fountain pen here, no dust is going to get anywhere in there. Um, so it does sort of collect stuff. So just something to be aware of if you're particular about things like that. The pros for this pen, um, the modular nature of it, awesome. Uh, you choose the colours, you can choose some of the design features, stuff like that, and the new options, all that kind of stuff. Lots and lots of uh, individuality to be on display, like a purple, you know, gunmetal pen with a purple sleeve and then the black section. That's what I wanted because, like, it's neutral enough, it gives me a bit of colour that I enjoy. It's great. Um, I think it is really well made. I think that O-ring down there to close off the, the capping is great. So lots of good things there. The Threads are a bit squeaky, but that's, you know, just going to be the case when you have a metal pen. Like, you've got a metal pen, metal on metal. The other thing I love about this pen uh, is the nib. Standard Yovo number 6, medium nib, housing, K Schmidt K5 converter, the guts of the pen, the machinery of the pen. It's the same as you would get if you got, like, pens from a number of different brands. Uh, so the writing of the pen is great. Um... I think it's a really interesting pen. I think it's got some really interesting features. I think they're an interesting company. I'd love to see them do something a little bigger um, or something that posts or whatever the case may be. But keeping this sort of modular nature of the pen, great touch and something that makes them really unique. So I hope you found this video about the um, spoke design icon fountain pen to be interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me, or you can contact me on any of my videos here or drop me an email, which is listed down below. If you've got products you think I should be looking at, or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel by sponsoring a review or providing an item for review, I would love to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you later.